Hey guys, this is Sean again. Just wanted to give a second update on a couple things. I'm getting ready to feed the fish now, and uh, my anemone is kind of perked up. I don't know if it's getting ready to split. I seem to see uh, two seams forming, so I don't know if this indicates that uh, it's getting ready to split for some reason. Um, I did move the power head just above or pointing above the top of it for more air circulation. I'm not sure if um, this is a problem for it or if, if, if it's becoming more happy. Um, so if you have any experience with bubble tap and enemies, let me know. Uh, the leg seems pretty established uh, inside this rock. So um, yeah. I could always move the power head uh, if you guys think it's a problem. Um, but just wanted to give an update on that. Also, I'm going to go ahead and feed the fish. Uh, right now, I'm feeding them Omega 1 pellets. I also feed uh, brine shrimp, frozen brine shrimp. And I also um, feed some uh, Omega flakes. So I tend to feed them around the anemone so that any pellets or whatever uh, falls into the anemone uh, so it can eat as well. Um, the clown will bring um, food over to the anemone, uh, Clyde the clown. And I plan on doing the uh, Sayano treatment today at some point. As you can see, it's getting really bad. It's starting to look like carpet out here. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss some flakes in too. So the flakes I've been feeding is the Omega One flake, um, super color flakes. So those are the um, packaged foods that I feed along with the uh, frozen brine shrimp from time to time. I'll also go ahead and feed uh, Project Cubal. And I'm actually going to go ahead and cut the circulation off first. That way they can stand a chance to eat because uh, the circulation in this aquarium is very strong. Things get sucked into the sump pretty quickly. Go ahead and give them some flakes. And I um, want to also do a quick update on the sump uh, construction. So um, I went ahead and started uh, putting in some of the baffles. So I've got number one and number two in place. Number three is not adhered yet, but you can see how it's coming along. Uh, the tray um, and the uh, small baffle have been attached. By silicone but I have not siliconed it into a tank yet um, I may do a water test possibly before I um, put that baffle in um, and I'm almost considering 
maybe taking out number two because um well i don't know yet um just simply because it might be easier to get number three in um with number two removed um i also have a uh, number five baffle here which is um going to be drilled or cut to allow water to flow through because the way it works is number two will be the high level and I'll drill below in number five so that it runs down into the return pump area and then number six obviously is part of the ATO uh, reservoir which I've already installed that one too so that's kind of where we're at on the sump construction thank you for watching